in life, there's actually two competitions. There's a friendly competition, a rivalry with your friend. Also, there's a rivalry with your enemy. That's when two alpha males meet. They clash. And, but the friendship, it's a little bit different. Today, we're going to talk about both of these rivalries. Mike Bass at the time was in his prime. He was the machine. He was a multi-time United States Speedway champion. And what better way to learn from the champion, Michael Bass. And Bruce Penhall was actually soaking it up like a sponge, just like Michael Bass did with Ivan Major. He soaked it all up. And Bruce Penhall soaked it all up with Michael Bass. I had a chance to talk to Bruce Penhall. He told me exactly that. Bruce Penhall's lucky break came when he was picked for the Los Angeles Sprockets of the National Speedway League, interviewed by Steve Evans. And Bruce Penhall was a star. He was an up-and-coming rider. Here Bruce is riding on the outside. He could ride inside or outside anywhere. And being on the Los Angeles Sprockets was definitely a blessing, meeting Michael Bass, becoming teammates. And then Michael was sharing information as teammates, and Bruce was a leader. And he, they became friends on and off the Speedway team. They became close buds, racing against each other, competing. This was a friendly rivalry between Michael Bass and Bruce Penhall. Love those leathers. And they just rode side by side. They trusted in each other. They knew that they were safe riding with each other because they were both talented and extremely good riders, sharing information, learning from each other. And they were on the same page as each other. And Bruce Penhall later became a star at Costa Mesa. championship was nothing new to Michael Bass over Penhall and Penhall learned from Michael Bass he learned from the master and Penhall would soon be a future United States Speedway champion and a two-time world champion Bruce Penhall learned a lot from the master and it served them both well in life and the next kind of competition is how we should say is a the fierce rivalry of two alpha males you know, in life, there's two guys sometimes, and we've all experienced that, right? If we've raced motorcycles, where we just don't like the other guy. We want to have that dominance. And we fear, we look at them, and we're not dominating them. They're not fearful of us. So we have to go out, and we have to push it on the track. We have to show them that we're the dominant one. And this is the next case. This was one of the most exciting one of the most feared rivalries in Speedway. It was exciting. You know, those people who watched it, they didn't get bored at all. They were like, everyone was glued to the racetrack when these two guys met in a scratch race, scratch semi, especially a scratch main. All eyes were focused on who? It was Michael Bass and crazy Alan Christian. Alan's humble beginnings began up Northern California, here where he won his first handicap main event here in D1. Alan Christian was primed to become a future United States Speedway champion, and he was just number one in Northern Cal. He had to move down to Southern California because he was just dominant up north. He wanted to come down and race against Gene Woods, and there's Sean McConnell. He wanted to race against the best racers. And he knew that he had to get better. There's dangerous Dub Farrell. And he got better. 
And he went ahead and just kept progressing. Alan Christian became one of the most feared racers. When Alan got on the track, you knew that you had to race well. He was a big dude, and he was just fast. He could ride that pole. He could push you off the pole. He was just, he got good traction on that big body of his. And when you raced Alan Christian, you knew that you had to do well. He was very beloved by the fans. And he just turned it on. Alan Christian had that talent. He raced for the Orange County Eagles. And then he knew that Michael Bass was there. The villain Michael Bass. And Michael Bass was the dominant one. He was the king of Speedway. And Alan Christian had his eyes, his eyes set on this machine, Michael Bass. It was a clash. It was a clash of two titans. Michael Bass was the best, and he was the king of Costa Mesa, and Alan Christian wanted to say something about that. But Michael Bass was just an amazing rider, just as Alan Christian was an amazing rider. They just both were dominant in their time and era. After winning the state championship in San Bernardino, I believe, Michael Bass got excited. He threw his helmet into the stands right here, and he celebrated. The lucky person got his helmet. Michael Bass was a star. He was a United States Speedway champion seven of ten times in the 70s. He was total domination. And he won and won and won and made lots of money too. Michael Bass was the star with his wife D, the great supporter D. And Michael Bass just was a winner. And Alan Christian just wanted a piece of that. Number one was who? Michael Bass. He was wanted, he was the most feared writer until Alan Crazy Christian came in the United States Nationals. They both clashed. The two titans raced heavy. They were fearless. They crashed into each other. They wanted domination. 85, Alan Christian won the national championship. And Michael Bass is living today with his wife, Dee. He's getting lots of awards and honors and Hall of Fame members ships, all the trophies he won. Just amazing. Michael Bass was truly one of the greatest legends ever. And Alan Christian is also. Today we saw both kinds of rivalries. They're both exciting. You know, that's what makes the sport of Speedway fun. And it made it fun in the old days. We had Rick Woods and Michael Bass. And Michael Bass was in rivalry with lots of people. Penn Hall. And now you know what that shows you? Michael Bass was a champion. And he won a lot. And Everybody was after his number one spot. Michael Bass wasn't going to release that uh, in 1970s. He won seven out of ten United States Speedway Championships. Everybody wanted who? It was Michael Bass. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today on the fierce rivalries of the 70s. There was more. Thanks so much. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like this show if you like it. And we appreciate you. We're going to see you. Of course, we're going to see you next show.